क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम दे आर आस्किंग अस द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन फोर्स आवर सिलेंड्रिकल आवर सिलेंडर इज रोलिंग अप एज इट इज रोलिंग अप इट्स स्पीड एज वेल एज ओमेगा विल डिक्रीज टू डिक्रीज द ओमेगा ए टॉर्क क्लोक वाइज टॉर्क इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड दैट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द फ्रिक्शन एंड for that friction must be in the upward direction when it will reach at the top it will stop for a moment and then it will come down as it will come down its omega will increase and to increase the omega again we will require a torque clockwise and for that again friction required is upward so we can say uh, for the case when cylinder is rolling up and then when it is coming down for both cases direction of friction force is upward and hence answer is option number 2 this problem is related to thermodynamics this curve is a pv diagram this process is represented by a straight line a b going through point a b and c here given that gas is ideal that means pv equal to nrt is applicable in this case at point a pressure is 2p not and volume is v not so we can say at point a temperature is ta equal to 2 p not into v not by n r at point c the pressure has become p not and volume has become 2 v not so if we calculate the temperature at point c from this equation we will get tc equals to p not into 2v not upon nr we can see that at point a and at point c temperature is same look at point b it can be taken somewhere at the middle there we can say at point b volume is 3 by 2 v not n pressure is 3 by 2 p not because it is a straight line so if i am now calculate the temperature at point b it will be given by the relation tb equal to 3 by 2 p not 3 by 2 v not by nr 9 by 4 p not v not by nr so here we can see that at point a and at point b temperature is uh, at point c temperature is same where is at time at uh, point b temperature is more than point a and c so here option number 4 is correct option answer here is 4 question number 18 this problem is related to energy radiated by a black body when we plot curve for the emission the lambda versus e lambda curve is as shown in the diagram the area under the curve gives us the amount of energy radiated here this peak can be obtained using wings displacement law which says lambda m into t equal to b or lambda m is equal to b upon t in the problem b is given 2.88 
into 10 raise to power 6 nanometer which is nanometer into Kelvin. T is given 2880. When we will solve it, we will find this lambda m is equal to 1000 nanometer. That means this peak is at 1000 nanometer. As we will move away from this wavelength towards the higher side or towards the lower side, for both sides the radiated energy will decrease. So, we can see in this range 999 nanometer to 1000 nanometer the amount of radiated energy will be large enough as we move away from it here for this range this area is less and hence less energy and for this region again if it get this area we can see this area is even smaller that means energy radiated in this range of 499 nanometer to 500 nanometer is minimum and in the range 900 nanometer to 1000 nanometer is maximum and it is why the option number 2 is correct answer. answer